You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Groundskeeper 2 is coming to the Atari VCS, and the night dive deal is final. Stay tuned for Atari Newsline. Welcome back, guys. BCB here. So it was announced uh, a day or two ago that the uh, deal with Night Dive was completed. And uh, this was posted on uh, here on a Twitter. My uh, good friend Ethicade, uh, Ethan, actually posted this. And I just kind of retweeted it. But um, really kind of a cool uh, thing to know for sure. Uh, this is put out by Globe Newswire. And the article says, Atari closes the acquisition of Night Dive Studios. Let's see here. It says, Paris, France, May 15th. Uh, Atari, one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers, is pleased to announce the closing of the acquisition of Night Dive Studios, a full-service game development and publishing company based in Vancouver, Washington, USA, and organized under the laws of the same state, announced on March 22nd, 2023. With this acquisition, Atari will enrich its large library of owned IP, be able to leverage Night Dive's proprietary technology, and utilize Night Dive's publishing capabilities in order to support Atari's retro-focused growth strategy. Our shared passion for preservation and innovation in retro gaming makes Atari the ideal partner, and our team is excited to take this next step, said Stephen Cook, CEO of Night Dive. Atari support is going to allow us to grow our business and expand our reach. Night Dive has a tremendously talented team and they've earned their reputation as leaders in retro gaming, said Wade Rosen, chairman and CEO of Atari. Like the rest of their fans, I'm looking forward to their upcoming releases and I am confident we will help their business flourish. The purchase price of Night Dive consists of an initial consideration of $9.5 million paid in cash, for US 4.5 million and the newly issued Atari shares for US 5.0 million plus an earnout of up to 10 million payable in cash over the next 3 years based on the future performance of Night Dive the contribution by Night Dive's founders and Wade Rosen of 1,912,500 common shares of Night Dive resulted in the issuance of 38,129,423 new Atari shares. As a result, Night Dive's founders together hold, upon completion of the contribution, 7.9% of Atari share capital and 7.8% of its voting rights, while we, uh, while Wade Rosen holds, upon completion of the contribution, 27.7% of Atari's share capital and 27.5% of its voting rights. Night Dive's founders have agreed to a six-month lockup on their Atari shares as from the completion of the contribution. The cash portion of the purchase price will be partially refinanced by the issuance of the $30 million uh, convertibles bonds announced on March 22, 2023, whose terms and conditions will be released in the coming weeks, subject to the uh, authorities, it looks like, AMF approval on the prospectus. Okay, this is getting really hard to read. Anyway, <laughs> so that's good news there. What do you think? So uh, moving along here, it was also announced uh, today, actually, um, on Twitter, as of this recording just a few minutes ago, uh, Atari uh, VCS tweeted out, and, and I retweeted it, of course. It says, Our friend Orange Pixel continues to support the VCS. He brings a single screen arcade survival game, Groundkeeper, or sorry, Groundskeeper 2, to the VCS on Friday, May 19th. And so that's this Friday. Very neat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on the Discord here and read you about this and show you the trailer. It says, uh, About the game. Survive the invasion of the supernatural, the robots, the monsters. The world needs you. Groundskeeper 2 throws you in the middle of a war. The war with supernatural robots from outer space. Yeah, we went there. 
Every time you play this game, you will get further and have a better chance at surviving. You'll unlock new weapons like the machine gun, laser gun, rocket launcher, and tools like all-destroying light beams, shields, time slowdowns, and more. What's more important, you'll unlock new worlds and hopefully become a true hero for the resistance. Or you die a quick death and try again. So this is actually on uh, itch.io, on Orange Pixel's itch.io page. It says buy it now for $4.99. It's on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, available on Google Play and the App Store. So I'll show you some screenshots here while I'm talking. Uh, very cool. Let's go ahead and look at that gameplay. I can't wait. Watch out! It's an invasion! Where do they come from? Some sort of portals. We might make them think twice about attacking us. But do this. Collect enough of those shiny things. I can activate the portal. Very cool. It looks like it's going to be a good uh, orange pixel game for sure on the BCS. Let me know down below what you think if you're interested in this game and everything else that's coming. I'm so so excited about it. Uh, also, join me uh, next Monday on that Atari show. I wanted to say, um, I actually said that the flashback special I'm doing is coming in two weeks. It still is, but on Monday, uh, on May 22nd, we're going to have a really cool interview uh, with Alan One, uh, and uh, they of course did Avian Nights, which I freaking love. So anyway, check out the little sneak peek I posted on my uh, YouTube page for sure about what's to come. I posted that over the weekend, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see, uh, can't wait to have that out. So you guys, let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Also, uh, make sure to click the bell if you want the latest Atari news and updates here on Atari Newsline. Go be a good person. Get your Java. Go play some Atari. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. Atari Pac-Man into your Atari video computer system and you're playing the hottest games in Space Invaders, Atari Pac-Man. You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy.